All right. What's up, JJ here? Very proud to bring you a little Fallout 4 footage here. Um, these are just clips. I'm not going to be doing like a playthrough of this game anytime soon because I've got a kind of personal connection with this game. So I'm just going to simmer with it and play it slow like it's meant to be. But this video is going to be some Fallout 4 clips and I'm going to do a little channel update and talk a little bit about maybe a little bit of uh, some Fallout kind of like tips and tricks just for new players, you know, to get it to just get a feel for the game. So anyways, first things first, things have been super, super busy, man, for the last like two months. It's been nuts to the point where I pretty much couldn't upload videos for the last couple weeks. But uh, of course, Zach, I have to give a big thanks to Zach. And he kept the videos coming like a boss, you know, just kept them flowing. So thank you. Thank you so much, Zach. And so, yeah, I've been very busy to the point that actually I got a PS4 and Fallout 4 and I haven't even really got to play it that much. So that's how busy I've been. But yeah, so things are going to be still hectic, but things are going to keep on coming. And as well as lots of footage, lots of new kinds of footage, like me and Zach uh, playing some PC games and all types of cool stuff. Lots of retro stuff too. And of course, the Fallout Versus very, very soon. Well, I'd say in the next couple days, like maybe the, the next time I'm uploading. So Fallout Versus very soon. And with the Fallout Versus, every five battles is like a, is like a, a kind of a special, kind of like a team battle. So... You know, it goes four, four one-on-one -on -one battles, and then the fifth one will always be like a team battle. So, Brotherhood of Steel versus Enclave next. So here, so now we're gonna move on to some uh, some Fallout tips for some new players. You know, you never played Fallout before. This game, man, you're not gonna get it the first time. And if you've played the, if you haven't played any RPG kind of games, it takes a bit to get used to what everything does and you know what's useful, what's junk, and there's a lot of junk in this game. So first things first, how should you play this game? I'm not going to tell you how to play this game. My tips are I'm not going to be telling you what you should do, it's just telling you what you could do, okay? So first of all, you should play this game nice and slow, okay? Don't rush through anything, there's too much, there's too much, there's seriously too much. So t play it nice and slow, you know what I mean? Don't don't explore everything right off the bat, you know what I mean? Because uh, you never know, you're probably going to run into something you're, that's too powerful. So play it nice and slow. You gotta f And also there's so much junk and weapons and things, so you got to figure out what's what's worth picking up and what you got to throw away and shit. So when it comes to junk and stuff, you know what I mean? You got to figure it out on your own. But I'd say pick up stuff like Wonder Glue and duct tape. And other things like microscopes, because they have a lot of components. Everything in this game, even though it looks like junk, has um, uh, components and ingredients you can use to craft. And we'll get to the crafting later. I'm just going to move on real quick. Getting on to the stuff, your inventory. There's so much inventory management, and it becomes very annoying. So I was, you got, you got tons of drugs. So if you got a bunch of drugs, I suggest you use them, because they make you more powerful. I'm going to go through the drugs and what they do. All right. Stim packs, of course, uh, recover your health. And then stuff like Jet actually can like slow down time and give you more action points. And then uh, Medex, that actually makes you stronger, like gives you, gives you damage resistance. And then um, uh, and Psycho actually boosts your damage, so you can like just deal out massive damage. And then there's stuff like buff out, which is say you, you're over encumbered and you're you're you know you're holding too much stuff in your inventory. If you take some buff out, you might be able to actually carry that extra whatever 50 pounds or whatever it is. And then uh, what else is there? Then there's uh, and that mentats mentats will actually will boost your perception, which will make give you better aim and make you more intelligent. And then there's also um, uh, stuff like Radway and Radex. Radex. Take it and it'll give you um, uh, radiation resistance. Radway, and Radway will actually um, uh, take away your radiation. When it comes to drugs, you're gonna get addictions. So don't worry about it. Take your drugs. There's plenty of plate ways to get rid of your addictions. Go to any doctor, and they can cure you of your injuries, radiation, poison, and addiction. And there's also drugs that you can take to take away your your actual addiction. So the drugs are very important. You should not be afraid to use your items in this game. Okay. And give you a little tip when it comes to the sign. There are signs in the wasteland. This one here actually means there's a like a like a weapon cache or a hidden item or something special hidden. And this one actually means there's um uh, probably enemies nearby or dangerous enemies nearby. So I'll give you another little trick with the fusion cores. 
So there's power armor in the game, and now its fuel is pretty much um, uh, these fusion cores. The fusion cores are actually, you know, they're rare, but there's a little trick with them. They, um, uh, they count down to from like 100 to, you know, zero. So even if a fusion core is at a low percentage, you can still sell it for the same price as if it was um, uh, brand new. So save your fusion cores and you can actually make a lot of cash. And, uh, you know, good way to actually um, uh, save your fusion cores and make cash. Something that might have happened to you in this game is kind of a glitch, is if you're in power armor and you call in a vertibird, and then you get into the vertibird and you try to choose a location, all of a sudden it says that you're like, you're in mid-air or you're jumping or something. I found a way to fix this, is basically you um, uh, save the game while you're in the vertibird and then reload it, and then, then it should be fine after you reload it. So there's little stupid things like that. So when it comes to crafting, I said, all that junk, you're going to have to figure out all that stuff on your own. But there are so many options when it comes to weapons and mods, and all your mods you can remove and put on other weapons, and it's in, it gets insane. Same thing when it comes to armor. With the armor, there's all types of things you can do with the armor. You can make it, you can make it so you can carry, you can modify your armor so you can carry more stuff. You can modify it to be more stealthy, modify it to be more resistant, and it all changes its appearance depending on what kind of mods you put on. So there is so much, so much going on in, in, when it comes to the um, uh, crafting. Settlements, that's a whole new thing, and I'm not really going to get into it, but it is, it's fun, and you can build houses, and it's pretty insane. You can, you can, build, you can build stuff, and, and, and you can make your settlers do certain jobs, like um, uh, harvest crops and things like that, and it's pretty interesting. It's a whole other aspect of the game, but I'm going to leave it there. But Fallout 4 is huge. A lot of the RPG elements have seemed to be kind of... Um, uh, dumbed down now. So Fallout 4 is a great game, but I would say it's kind of a weaker RPG compared to the other Fallouts, but it's awesome. So hope you enjoyed this footage and uh, stay tuned for the Fallout Versus coming out real soon. And I uh, hope you enjoyed some of these tips and I hope they're helpful. Peace out. So, you know, thanks for giving us the chance. Anything specific you want me to do? I'm willing to pitch in any way you need. All right.